I am Edwin K. Morris, and I am the founder and serve as president of Pioneer Knowledge Services. Our vision is to inspire organizations that value knowledge as an asset. We do that by helping them learn how to leverage people, processes, and technology that create better knowledge handling and decision making. In my experience in the U.S. Army, I observe value in the art of illustrated storytelling. P.S. The Preventive Maintenance Monthly made the dry topic of vehicle maintenance interesting and entertaining. Soldiers wanted the newest copy, and the lifespan was unlimited as these things never seemed to be discarded. This video presentation is similar to that graphic story manner. I invite you to relax, as this is more of a bedtime story. I know you might be a bit tired, but I don't think you'll snooze. This adventure is about the land of knowledge management. In most literary circles, it's considered a real cliffhanger. We find ourselves at the county clerk's office. Here's Charles, totally flummoxed. Charles has been on the job since being elected four months ago. And the learning curve has been very painful. There was not a formal handoff, and he brought a change in political party, and it felt rather jilted when he got there. Staff turnover was high, and Betty, who had the copier codes, well, she was on vacation. On this fortuitous day, Charles was checking out his spam folder and found a curious email. In the subject, in bold letters, was the land of KM. KM, as he soon discovered, meant knowledge management. And yes, Charles had not yet attended the cybersecurity training. With very little hesitation, he clicked open the email. As soon as Charles did, the computer's screen lit up in a brilliant flood of mesmerizing flashes of silver and blue lasers. He could not move at all. His fear was overcome by a feeling of movement and floating. Charles was adrift. He was somehow transported into a digital realm full of moving pieces. A great hum of machinery engulfed him as he floated through the space. A space of organizational structures, all parts of the municipal knowledge flow. Charles found himself lying on a floor. He awoke dazed and fuzzy in the head. The floor was cold and seemed sterile. He could not depict any shape of any distinction in the space. As Charles regained his footing, he started to feel scared, as he didn't know where he was or why. And then all of a sudden, from behind him, a voice softly said, Hello. It completely scared him to near fainting. It was like a ghostly sound that was standing so close, he thought he could feel the breath on his neck and a faint smell of liver and onions. Welcome, I'm Phronesis. We are standing in your knowledge container. But it's empty! Charles was super smart at deduction. Because you have nothing to fill it with. Hmm, how do I fix this? Come with me to the land of KM. As work images danced around Charles, she said, Knowledge can be powerful. 80% of that power is tacit, which means knowledge resides in someone else. Charles slumped a bit. You must develop a culture of KM. Something your organization should embrace. Think of it as resource management. Behold the designed and intentional knowledge management culture. Collaboration of which position or department boundaries give way to actionable knowledge that directly supports the mission. Observe of knowledge development and drink. behaviors are reflected in all hiring levels and set the culture. As Phronesis spoke, Charles noticed Betty drift by. Charles, the copier codes are in my laptop in a file labeled cookbooks. I'm sorry for the productivity loss. Perhaps the organization should establish file naming conventions, or at the least some enterprise standards. All of a sudden, Charles got it. The machinery sounds from before had actually transformed into a soft buzzing sound. Charles felt a newfound awareness. 
Knowledge is an asset and knowledge is money. I need to steward this asset with vigor. Charles, you must manage your assets. Knowledge assets. Charles, you are a knowledge worker on a good path. The work ahead will be difficult. Doing things differently and cooperating toward the idea that the whole organization is responsible and ending its knowledge is challenging. But notice the other path leads to stagnation. Just don't think that creating storage for your knowledge products is any form of great success. If data and information are not easily findable and usable, there's nothing really but a disorganized digital dump to be had. This can impede all other assets of the organization. Work might be refabricated because no one actually realized someone had already done this work or researched this topic before. This organizational structure empowers the people to engage better processes with proper technology. Mechanisms such as performance rewards, lessons learned, information management, governance, standard operating procedures, and knowledge handling that's actually depicted in every job description, these are elements that help that organization to establish a newfound efficiency and collaborative future. Consider what it takes to build a town. The civil engineering, hydrology, streets, power lines, gas lines, municipal support systems, emergency services, governance, political structures, legal systems, code enforcement, public spaces, just to name a few. Consider what's affecting your organization's knowledge flow. Items like hoarding information, not having any trust with other members of the organization, department walls, mismanaged resources, rework, lost experience, lack of knowledge mechanisms. Do you think knowledge management could help a city or town near you? Would you prefer to live in a city with a high knowledge management rating versus one that didn't? Just like any business, Municipalities suffer inefficiencies. Pioneer Knowledge Services suggests that knowledge management is, or can be, a pillar of democracy because it promotes a citizen-centric design. That's right, build it around the consumer, which is the person that lives there and pays taxes. We are empowering municipal KM structures using the ISO 30401 Knowledge Management Systems. Just imagine if you were looking for a place to live and you could actually see how the town rates in their Knowledge Management Index. This is an indicator of how well they function, how well they share knowledge, and most importantly, that they are consumer-centric minded. They are not partisan. They are not serving for short-term goals. They are building a knowledge force and knowledge future city to structure a positive and growing progressive future.